Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So my name's Katie and today I'm going to be doing my fourth update for my Pandas Eyeshadows project. So it's been a little bit of a month and if there's anything that I've learned through doing this project and watching other people do it is that sometimes you have good months and sometimes you have off months and it's definitely been an off month for me. So I mentioned in a couple of videos that I came down to visit my parents for what was supposed to be a pretty short visit and then we went back into lockdown while I was here so I didn't bring my pandas eyeshadows because I felt like three full-size palettes was kind of overkill for a week or two and I didn't expect to still be here a month later. I suppose I could have brought down one or two but apparently that didn't occur to me in the moment so I didn't have access to any of my shadows for about two weeks and then I was able to pick them up a couple weeks ago when I was in the city, but I haven't really been able to use them. So I mentioned in my Pan That Palette update that I've been dealing with what I thought was an allergic reaction on one of my eyelids, and it turns out that it's actually eczema, so I have been kind of trying to completely lay off the eye makeup while I wait for my prescription to work its magic, and so far it does seem to be working pretty quickly, so I'm hoping a few more days and that will all be healed up and I'll be able to start actually wearing eyeshadow again because I've missed it more than I thought I would. I think it's such a creative outlet for me that it's something that I that I want to do and I haven't been able to, so hopefully soon. Um, so with that out of the way, that's been kind of, that's kind of a recap, but I did manage to hit one new pan and I am very, very close to my usage goal on another shade. So I do get to roll in a new shadow, which I'm really excited about that and I will have another one to roll out next month too. So before I get started, I'm going to pop a photo on screen of the color story that I was working on last month, and as you can see, it was definitely pretty cohesive. I sort of had a split between the yellow and the gold and then the purples, but parts of it definitely worked pretty well together. So let's talk about my eyeshadows and my usages. So there were two that unfortunately didn't get used at all this update. I had really big plans, but then my eyelids sort of kept on swelling up whenever I put anything on it, so I really had to just like take a good couple of steps back. So the first thing I do once I can wear eyeshadow again is wear the two that I, that I neglected for this month, and they're definitely going to be my focus shades for this for this round. So the one, the two that I didn't use are Citrine from the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette and my Angels from the ABH Carly Bible palette. So I find my Angels is really beautiful, but it doesn't like to stick to my eyelids, so I really needed to use that with a glitter glue in order to have it actually adhere to my eyelid and look good and not just sort of fall out over my face throughout the course of the day. And unfortunately, I found that glitter glue was very irritating to my eyelid, so I did opt to not use that until things heal up, um, but both of those are still at the same number of uses they were at last month, so I've only used my Angels three times and I've used Citrine 13 times. Now I have a 30 usage goal before I can roll things out, so I don't think I'm going to get there with Citrine next month, but I'm hoping the month after. So I'm going to set some goals for these. So I want to get seven more uses on each of them, so I want to get my Angels to 10 total uses in this project, and this My Angels was brand new when I rolled it in. It's been swatched a couple times, but for the most part it hasn't been, it's only been used three times, so I want to get to 10, 10 uses on that by the end by the next update and I also want to get to 20 uses on Citrine and so if I can do that I will definitely be happy. Like I said I do want to focus on those because I've definitely been neglecting them. So let's move on to the eyeshadows that I have actually used. So starting off with the two from my Melt Cheese and Parties palette. So I've used Total Immortal five times and this is this matte sort of lavender shade. I mainly use this as a transition shade and I think that you can tell that there is a little bit more of a dip forming in this. I feel like it's hard to see, but there is definitely more of a dip. I would be surprised if I managed to hit pan on this after 30 uses. I've had a matte transition shade from Melt in this in this project previously. I started with that on about the same amount of use as Total Immortal, and I got very, very close to pan, but not quite. But this is slightly more powdery, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm just happy to have this shade in melts bats blend out like a dream so this has definitely worked really well with the other shimmer in this project and then i also had mean streak in which is this sort of matte plum color and i've mainly been using this with a small brush as a liner or along the lower lash line and i have used this six times total so five i used it with total immortal and aster and then once as a liner i think i've discovered after playing around with Mean Streak and trying to make it work as a liner, I think I've sort of discovered that I have pretty oily lids and they're pretty textured too. So I find that a powder shadow as a liner 
doesn't work super well. There's not a lot of longevity and it's hard for me to get a crisp line, even if I'm using a wet brush or with setting spray. And eczema aside, I think there's something in setting spray that, that is a little bit irritating to my eyelids and it makes them sting a little bit. So I don't really want to do that going forward, but I think I've played around enough with this shade to sort of know that if I want other colors, I think it's better for me to get like a pencil or a gel liner rather than trying to make a powder shadow work as a liner. So I have had fun with this and I suppose it does work for smoking out, but I have so little lid shade that I tend to try to keep my liner as thin as possible in order to maximize the amount of space that I actually do have. So this has definitely been fun to play around with, but I have used this, I've used Mean Streak 26 times total since rolling it in, so I'm just four uses away from my usage goal. So I should be able to roll this out next month, which would be awesome, because this has been in for, I think, three or four months now. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting something in, something new in, because this is such a dark shade that it's very pigmented so it can kind of take over a look pretty easily if you're not careful. And then last but not least I have my pan for the month and I knew I was really really close as of last update and I, I said I think in the last update that I thought I was like five uses away from hitting pan and on my fifth use this round I did manage to hit pan. So I this is so I had rolled in the shade Aster in March and as you can see I have a decent sized pan so I am pretty happy about this. This is such a gorgeous shade and I've had a lot of fun working working with it. It looks so gorgeous over a glitter glue and yeah, it's just been it's just been so much fun to play around with. So I'm definitely glad I rolled this in. I was pretty stoked when I got this because it's one of my favorite shades in this palette and I have panned it. This is definitely a crumblier shimmer formula so it wasn't too difficult to pan and I have used this 16 times since rolling it in. So because I hit pan on Aster, that means that I get to roll something else in. So the way I typically do roll-ins for this project is I will insert a screenshot of the random number generator if it's just one roll-in or I'll take a screen recording if there's more than two. For this round, because I don't have access to all of my palettes, I just set the random number generator from 29 to 98. So I got number 68, which is Wild Child from the Norvina palette. And one of the reasons I love this project is because it has gotten me out of my comfort zone and gotten me to play around with shades that I would not otherwise be comfortable wearing. So Wild Child is this pastel pink color um, and this is definitely the shade that I am the least comfortable with in this entire palette. I typically don't tend to gravitate towards pinks like this because they are a little bit too cool toned and Barbie pink and I just feel like they don't work super well with my hair color. I wear rose gold. Rose gold in this palette is definitely one of my most used shades, but I have only used Wild Child like two or three times, I think. So I'm definitely looking forward to having an excuse to play around with it a little bit more and see if I can get a little bit more comfortable with wearing it. I have started, only slowly started to get back into pinks more recently, but I do tend to go for darker pinks or more peach pinks rather than sort of a classic um, cool toned pink. So I feel like this will be definitely a fun challenge for me for this month. So I've used Wild Child four times total, um, and most of those I think have been in conjunction with Rose Gold as a halo eye, but I do want to get more comfortable using this on its own. So I will definitely have to play around with it and see what I can come up with over the next month. So I'm going to swatch out my new color story for this month, and then we'll quickly talk about my pan percentage because it has changed a little bit and I definitely feel pretty good about that. All right, so now that my fingers look like this, swatches have been done and this is what we're working with. And I am pretty happy with this. I think that there are sort of two distinct color stories happening. So I definitely think that these three will work really well together and then these two. And I think that I could probably make my angels work with Mean Streak too, the more I think about it. So just in order, we have Wild Child, Total Immortal, Mean Streak, My Angels, and Citrine. So. I think that this will be a lot of fun to work on for the next month. I will definitely have to get a little bit more creative and hopefully I will remember to actually take photos of some of the looks that I come up with because there has pretty much only been one for this last round. So pretty much the only look that I created using last month's quint was Aster all over the lid, Total Immortal in the crease, and then Mean Streak as a liner, lash line, and sort of outer third color. and last caress which is sort of a darker mauve in the crease for a little bit of depth so that was pretty much the only shade that i used with these i pretty i decided pretty early on once i realized i had to make up some ground that i was just going to focus on aster because i knew i was really close my goal for this project is to always have at least one rollout every single month just to keep myself from getting bored so i did decide to focus on those 
But like I said earlier, next month I'm definitely going to be focusing more on my Angels and Citrine, and also hopefully Wild Child too. I think I'm going to have some fun, some fun with that. So let's talk about my pan percentage because that has changed a little bit. So last month there was pretty much no change from, from April. No, wait. So in April there was no change from March, so I was at 7.18%. So I had seven pans out of a 98 total pans of eyeshadow in my collection. So I've hit two new pans in my Pan That Palette project, which I'll have that video linked up. I'll have that playlist linked in the cards if any of you are interested and you haven't checked it out. And then I also hit obviously a pan in Aster, so three new pans this month, which is not too bad. So that brings my pan percentage up to 10.2%. So like I've said in previous updates for this project, most of my eyeshadow palettes are new-ish. So I highly doubt this month I'm going to hit a lot of pans, except for in palettes that have crumblier formulas like ABH or shallower pans. I think my goal for this year is just to sort of rotate through, get creative, and work with color combos that I might not reach for by myself. So that's pretty much the goal for this year and then I think next year I might focus a little bit more on panning and possibly trying to finish up certain eyeshadows but for right now we're just sort of going for usage however having said that if I could get things up to like 20-ish percent I think that's pretty doable considering it's less than halfway through the year so I think 20% is my tentative goal but I'm not necessarily stressing too much about trying to hit that I just want to keep things fun and interesting and not fall into the trap of doing the same thing every day. So I think that's pretty much everything I have for this update. Obviously it's been a short one and a little bit more of a boring one, but you know, everybody has off months and this unfortunately was mine. So I'm hoping that next month I will have more cooperative eyelids and be able to make a little bit more progress, but I'm still happy one pan is nothing to sneeze at and I am happy to have gotten a little bit more some more pans in my pan that palette because that has definitely been slower going too so I think I'm going to wrap it up there. If you're also doing this project, please let me know down below. This has very quickly become one of my favorite projects to participate in and watch, so I would love to follow along on yours. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I upload new, new beauty videos every Tuesday and sometimes on Saturdays, so if that floats your boat, consider subscribing and possibly hitting that like button, and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye!